welcome to Shift Focus with me, Dipti Kumar. I have one quick question. Hungry, kya? Well, if it's about food, shoes, exhibitions and events, all that's coming up on today's show. So hey, don't shift focus. Grilled into the Guinness. 489 dishes, 24 hours. Did this chef make it? Aishwara Rai Bachchan takes a trip down memory lane with producer Shankar. Who is the maestro behind the music? A rendezvous with the piano. Five hours sleep, a hundred push-ups and a hundred and fifty stomach crunches. High protein diet, sitting on a foosball, Sounds like Jacob's preparing for a marathon. This is a barbecue marathon, a 24-hour attempt to get into the Guinness Book of World Records. <music> Chef Jacob likes to do things differently. He has rustled up a meal outside a Malige Kade, on a busy road, atop a tree, and even down under in the sea. This time, he has set his eyes on the Guinness Book of World Records. Attempting to set a record for the longest barbecue marathon, Chef Jacob has toiled over the grill for 24 hours, creating 489 delicious varieties in the process. Another very quick question, why do you choose to do this? I am a chef. I am thinking beyond what a chef can do, you know, like bringing uh, the cuisine of Tamil Nadu, cuisine of India to the limelight. I am also going to cook uh, international uh, barbecue, but still, I am from Tamil Nadu. I want to set this record, that is the main thing. Maybe after some time somebody may break it, but I have uh, left some benchmark regarding the time and regarding the number of the dishes. More than a challenge, this is a test of endurance. So no Guinness Book or World Record can just get into the book unless you have an adjudicator and who better than Lucia. She's come all the way down from Italy and she's going to be telling me a little bit about today's event and how it's going to become part of the Guinness Book of World Record. So Lucia, thank you for joining us on Shift Focus. I'd like to know today what are the criteria for getting into the Book of Records. And the rules are yes. there must be at least five different food items on the barbecue at one time. Mm -hmm. And so far, so good. <laughs> No re-eating of the food is allowed for this record and all food items must be cooked from raw on the barbecue. Uh, all items must be consumed after cooking mm -hmm. or they can be given out for charity, okay. which is probably what will happen today as well. Okay. It's also important for us to know the number and the weight of each cooked item as we need this detail as evidence mm -hmm. to be submitted together with mm -hmm. the claim. This is a new record category, it's the first time that it's been attempted and in fact Chef Jacob approached us with this idea, we thought it was fantastic. It's not an easy challenge yeah. to do, because 24 hours is a long time and it's a very hot day today in Chennai. Yes. <laughs> Two judges sat and inhaled the aromas every four hours. From the food point of view, we have to. Uh, we are generally told to look out, see what the aroma is like, mm -hmm. the flavor of the food, and uh, the presentation, and then the, what recipe he's using. If it's a traditional one or uh, his own original, something new, and uh, a narration. If he's going to give us something about what he's doing, all that is taken into. Uh, for judging. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your favorite dish in what Chef Jacob is cooking? Have you got any favorites as yet? Oh, anything non veg would go with me. Okay. And uh, yeah, this Thai chicken is excellent. Okay. And are you looking forward to the remaining that's coming on in the day? Oh, yes, I am. The beach, the sun, and the food at the Radisson made it a beautiful day for the onlookers. But one look at the sweaty brow and flying hands of the chef and you knew this was no joke. He's doing a phenomenal work and we felt the least we could do is come here and be with him at this time. Mm -hmm. We've known him for quite some time and he's a wonderful person. And 
doing this, a Guinness record is, I think, the first time from here. Mm -hmm. We are very proud eh, an Indian doing a great job. Making a food is an art. It's a little love. Indian food, we have served food with a lot of love. So mother's love. When mothers serve the food to kids, the same way Jacob serve the food to the, their customers. That's something great. I love Jacob. He was doing extremely good job. I'm very proud about him regarding this Guinness uh, record. All the best for him. As time passed and the sweltering heat on the beach increased, the fans and the iced tea came out. As the onlookers enjoyed the snacks and the tea, poor chef Jacob on the other hand couldn't move an inch away from the scorching hot grills. Thank you. Wondering what I'm doing at a fast recharge center? Well, it's a hot day, I'm breaking into a sweat and I need to recharge. Imagine what the chef must be feeling. Sleep deprived and tanned. Well, that might be the look on Chef Jacob's face, but trust me, he is one proud winner. I'm going to ask him what he feels after completing this huge marathon and coming out on the other side. Chef, how was it for you to go through this whole experience? It was uh, it was a marvelous experience. Actually, it was a stressful experience also because uh, I was cooking for continuously 24 hours, and you know. Uh, to say it is, it, it's so easy, but you know, when we experience it, it's a real difficult task, I can tell you. But, but somehow, like by God's grace and my mom's blessings, I think I, I went along ahead and further every hour and uh, I even uh, accumulated my break time and uh, you know, kept it for uh, yeah, later, it's like that. But uh, there was an extensive support from the venue, the hotel venue, that is uh, Radisson Temple Bay and also uh, from my support team, my friends, mm -hmm. who have been in the support for the past uh, you know, the, the 24 hours. Yes, yes. Yes. What was the most toughest thing in doing this? The most toughest thing is like, you know, I was working on five grills. Yeah. That was the rule uh, offered by the Guinness World mm -hmm. Records. To, uh, for a single chef to do uh, uh, cooking in five different grills at a time, mm -hmm. it's a difficult task. Mm -hmm. Because the, the, the first grill, uh, the ingredient, will get cooked uh, when we reach to the fifth grill and we have to come in a zigzag position and it's like a you know, random going around uh, the, you know, the, 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 the ranges. That is the toughest task in this attempt. Well, that's putting a lid on this segment. It's time to go in for a quick break. Well, on the other side of Shift Focus is a lot more coming up, so don't go anywhere. Find out what makes Aishwarya Rai Bachchan nostalgic. <laughs> 